one of the classic equilibrium labs has teachers having students mix iron three plus ions, which appear as yellow in aqueous solution, with thiocyanate ions, SCN minus, which are colorless in solution. The two of them will combine together to make a complex FESCN plus two, although some teachers will write it FENCS plus two, because the lone pair on the nitrogen is what uh, is attracted to the iron atom, and that reaction also creates heat. Now the interesting thing is that this ion complex is brown, so by changing the equilibrium and changing the balance of reactants to products, the solution can convert from yellow to brown, back to yellow, back and forth as many times as you want until you get sick of doing the lab. So let's say you combined some iron three and some SCN minus in solution and made just a little bit of this so that your solution is yellow. If you were to add extra SCN, maybe as potassium thiocyanate to the solution, what you're doing is you're increasing the concentration of thiocyanate ion. Now, adding a reactant to an equilibrium will cause the reaction to react in such a way to offset the change. The point of the lab is Le Chatelier's principle where every disturbance is partially counteracted by the action of equilibrium. So if you added thiocyanate, it's going to react so that some of it gets used up. Adding something to the left shifts the reaction to the right. So we're going to end up with a little bit more of the FENCS complex. The solution itself is going to look more brown than it did. Similarly, if we, re if we add iron three nitrate to solution, we're adding a reactant. Now, you're actually also adding the thing that makes it more yellow. But because you're going to shift to the right, create a little bit more of this as well, and because brown is such a more powerful color than yellow, the solution is going to look like it turned more brown. I get it's going to be slightly more yellow than it was, but brown wins out in terms of the color you see. Now, if you heat the reaction up, Heat is a product of the reaction as written, at least. So it's kind of like adding a product. How can this reaction react to consume some of the heat that you're adding? Well, it can shift to the left, which is the opposite of what happened when you added a reactant. In that case, it's going to look less brown. Your teacher probably wants you to say that it's going to turn more yellow. Cooling down is the opposite. It's removing some of the heat. So the reaction, by Le Chatelier's principle, will react to try to replace some of it. It will shift slightly to the right, and the solution will turn brown. Note that these two are opposites because heating up and cooling down are also opposites. Now we come to the trickier ones. When you add Na2HPO4 to this equilibrium, What's actually going to happen is that the Fe plus 3 ions will combine with the HPO4 minus ions and create its own complex. If you care, it's Fe HPO4 with a plus 2 charge. Now that itself is in equilibrium, but for all of the HPO4 that you add, you're going to consume some of the Fe plus 3. That's going to pull the equilibrium to the left. You want to replace the Fe that you've lost, and the solution itself will probably appear less brown. Now, I hesitate to say it's going to turn yellow because any of the Fe plus 3 that you create by the shift left is being consumed by this reaction here, the more obvious thing is that it will turn less brown. You could probably get away with saying it will turn yellow. Similarly, NH3, OH- and Cl- react with Fe plus 3 the same way. Each of those anions can complex 
with that cation and remove it from this equilibrium consideration. You're not removing it from solution. It's going to have converted into like FeOH3 or FeCl6 or something. But you're going to remove it and to replace it, the equilibrium must shift left. I would still personally describe this as less brown because you're not going to be any more yellow than you were. It's just going to, this particular color is going to be less intense. And similarly, Ag, AgNO3 will dissolve to give you Ag+, but Ag+, will react with SCN to create a complex of its own, like AgNCS. Maybe it's, that's actually a solid. Maybe it's AgSCN. I don't know. What I do know is that Ag and SCN will react together. You're pulling thiocyanate out of solution. So the, to replace what's missing, you shift to the left, and you're going to appear less brown, possibly even more yellow. Cool? Cool. Now, it's much more interesting when you do it in the lab, but I want you to be able to answer these questions based only on the original equation here. That's what Le Chatelier's principle is all about. Best of luck to you.